being cast on. And for this, I'm going to start by pulling out 40 needles, 20 on either side of zero. And I'm going to use my one by one pusher tool. And I'm going to push back half of the needles to working position. So half of them are pushed all the way out. The other half are in working position, so they line right up behind the gate pegs. The next step is we want to engage these brushes right here. So to do that, we're just going to pop this button and it pushes those down so that they are engaged. Let's take our yarn, open up our feeder, place the yarn into the feeder. And now with this yarn tail that's coming out below the feeder, we are going to place it across the needles that are pushed all the way out and I'm going to hold it with my opposite hand to give it some tension as we knit all the way across. Now I'm going to place my finger up against those stitches and pull the needles all the way out. I'm going to disengage my tuck brushes so we only need those for the cast on and work one row. Now let's do this again where I place my finger on the stitches, pull it all the way out and work one row. And I'm going to do it one more time. This just ensures that this, all these stitches get knit. All right, so now I have a decent amount of fabric that's sitting underneath here, which gives me enough to be able to hang my cast on comb. So I'm gonna angle that towards my work, place it in the center, and put these teeth right onto the work. I'm gonna hang one claw weight right in the center, which will be enough weight. And now I can just start knitting.